Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today with the final flip through of um, the journal I made for my dear friend Dee Dee. I will link Dee Dee's information in the description box below. She is inching so close to a thousand subscribers. So if you have not subscribed to her already, I think it would be absolutely fabulous if you went over and did that after you watch this video. So by now she should have received this, I hope, um, because I don't want it, I don't want to spoil um, the surprise. Um, I mean, it's not a surprise. She knows she's getting a journal, um, but she doesn't know what it looks like because she kind of gave me just, you know, do what you want, have fun with it. I don't love the color yellow. That was, you know, that was basically, those were my instructions. Um, <laughs> and actually I asked about the color. Um, she didn't even originally say that. So um, I have already, um, you've already seen how I made the cover and um, a couple, one of the other um, little elements that I put in here. And then, um, yeah, so we're here for the final flip through. So, ugh, I love it. It is super chunky and fluffy and it makes me very happy. Um, I hope it makes Dee Dee very happy too. We've got some fun stuff sticking up here. I love the doily cover. I think it is fabulous. Um, I added... A little okay this is one of the images from one of the kits I used kits by medieval mirage and I will link those below um, I also used oh let's see here oh this product as I throw it across my desk I love it um, it is a fast drying like gold um, paint basically um, that's metal kind of metallic glossy um, it's really fun. So I used that, um, you'll see, uh, throughout, but I added that to this image here and then, um, added some lace on the back and one of these little, like, um, oh, I used to know the name for them, but they're like for jewelry making. Anyway, it turned it into a charm. Basically I added some, um, navy and ivory, um, eyelash trim. I added a couple of blue um, beads to the garment pin and then I just attached that so she can take it off if she wants to. The um, Sari Silk closure is just run underneath um, this part of the doily. So again, if she wants to take that off, she can. Um, it's like three pieces of Sari Silk. So Dee Dee, um, if you want to, you know, just like whittle it down to one as the closure, you've got some extra sari silk you can use in your projects. <laughs> I just, I wanted it to be super floofy. So that's what I did. It it actually, for as big as it is, it's like a three inch spine. Um, it actually stays closed by itself. I'm quite proud of myself. Um, I did kind of, uh, you know, I, she wants to be able to use it. So I tried to, you know, restrain myself a little bit. So I used one of the images from the kits um, on the front here and some um, like a thick layer of cheesecloth um, behind that. And then, yeah, let's go inside. So like I said, it is a chunky monkey. Um, this is one of the pages from the kit and I cut it in half and I put half on the front and half on the back. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to go through here kind of quickly because I don't, you know, I don't want to take up your whole day. Um, I did use one of uh, my corner punches here um, that does like a little um, flower in the corners. Um, you'll see that throughout. Um, I've got, let's see, I used um, ground espresso distress ink. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got some vintage lace on some of the pages. And yeah, so most of the Inca gold, I um, I use that mostly or almost exclusively on like the pockets and the tuck spots and, um, and that sort of thing. And then I did not use it on the journaling cards. But the, oh, this kit, these kits are gorgeous. Um, this is my first Medieval Mirage project. Um, I, I have been wanting to use you know, some of her kits forever. Um, and I'm, I'm finally getting around to it. So I'm quite happy with it. The lined pages from the kits are printed onto um, linen paper or parchment paper. Um, both, you know, there's both in here. Um, and it's like an ivory color um, 
And then you've got an Edith Holden page, a little upper tuck spot here. And, you know, I just kind of um, embellished some of the pages with pieces from the kit. Another pocket here with some more journaling cards. There is some yellow in here, but Didi said it was okay as long as it wasn't the main color. These are the tabs that come in the kit. Just some tea dyed lined paper there. Um, a little side tuck. I'm telling you, um, I am, I am in love with these kits. This is some sewing pattern paper that I just kind of ruffled up in the background. One of the banners in the kit and I just turned it into a tuck spot. All of the um, the journaling cards and tags and such um, I printed on the back with um, one of a different kit by Mediv Medieval Mirage had a very plain like tea dyed um, printable page in it so I used that on the backs. And then um, this is another piece from the kit. And then I embossed some um, vintage playing cards and added those in each signature. It is five signatures. Um, I believe it's somewhere around 380 pages total. And then I used this piece from the kit to make a belly band. And then this was a piece from the kit that I put down at the bottom to kind of be like a pocket belly band combo. And then I just added, um, there's a ton of these that come in the kits, in the kit. And then, um, you know, I just, there's words in the kit and some stamps and these are some journaling cards. I just, I love the images and everything. There, it, there, it is so bulky, this <laughs> journal, Dee, Dee I hope you can write in it. <laughs> um, this is some vintage ledger graph type paper. Um, I've got some, another little tuck spot there. I love, love, love these pages. Um, another belly band with some little tiny uh, journaling cards and I glued in the middle as well so they don't fall out. This is the parchment paper, so it's just a little darker ivory color, so it makes a little darker um, page. Glassine bag and um, I just use a banner here and we've got a journaling card. And this is a piece of notebook paper um, that I have and I just use that corner punch again uh, on the top. I just added that for some more writing space. And another background page from the kit, this gorgeous image and journaling card. And then this is from a book. Um, and then all of the envelopes are attached with a bulldog clip that has um, just some crocheted lace at the top. And then um, I'm I think I made all of these on camera or I just made two. I can't remember now. It's been a while since I filmed it. Um, I know I, I know there was at least one video on making uh, how I put together the envelopes. I just can't remember how many I did in the video now. All right, another book page. Uh, talks about flowers um, and what they mean. Uh, notebook page, a vintage doily, uh, just a page from um, a vintage notebook. Use some green masking paper behind the word flora there. And then these actually um, fold out. And that's then we're on to the other side of the first signature. Just made a little tuck spot there. And there's another pocket from the kit. I love how um, her kits, you've got all these like torn edges and stuff. That was actually printed that way. Um, I just, I think that's fun. I love that look. And I just layered up some lace and one of the stamps from the kit and one of the words as well. And then you've got the other side of the bag. Same thing, it has the same notebook paper and then um, a journaling card from the kit. Really pretty horse. And just a piece on the top there. And then another little corner. I love these corner pockets that come in the kits and I, I tried my best to line up the punching. <laughs> 
with the page, but you know. And then uh, you've got just some um, trim here I made tabs out of, and sewed those on. Tea dyed paper, I think this is actually from Dee Dee. And just a little tuck spot, and I just added some of that lace on there. I thought that made that even extra cute. Another little tuck spot here. Little tiny tag that comes in the kit. Another little journaling card. This gorgeous lady here. The other side of the Edith Holden page. And then I made some paper clips out of book pages. And I um, used my Tim Holtz Tattered Fl Florals, I believe it's called, dye, um, and cut out, uh, I think it's five different, one, two, no, four different uh, flowers. And then I used a piece from the kit, you know, to attach the paper clip. And then these are actually brads. And I believe that was holding something on. Yes, it was. So let me... And another little belly band here. And I just added one of um, one of the quotes that comes with the kit. And then that's the end of the first signature. And basically the same, same thing. We have pockets and tucks and such. vintage playing card. This one actually has the card on the back. And Dee Dee, I apologize. My embossing folder um, did cut through in a couple places, but I, it's not like it's not going to fall apart. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you know. Um, I just made a little, um, another little layered up piece there. And I love this, this lady. And that card. I think this background is my favorite. This this in the back here. I love that so, so very much. Another little double belly band. Another glassine bag. And then there are two envelopes in here, um, Dee Dee, that are sealed with a wax seal. And the only wax seal I have is um, numbers. So <laughs> I apologize, but obviously I'm not gonna open that up, but you can, I don't know if you can see the gold. Um, it's a pretty cool product. I'll link it below if you're interested. Get it on Amazon. So Dee Dee, there's just, just little notes in there for you. <laughs> Same thing here in the middle. And I tied my um, wax thread on the other side of the hidden spine. So it's glued down so you can't see the strings. I like to do that sometimes. I have this kind of belly band here. Love this. I said I don't want to keep you all day <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of flip through rather quickly there's so much in these kits it's so worth the money um, to purchase Jarf's kits um, that's the name of the lady and her she's just just gorgeous um, designs and she has all different all different types um in and they're also in that you know kind of medieval um flair right so yeah everything she does i love it gorgeous another paper clip there that one's not holding anything the belly band and then we're on to the third signature 
or Edith Holden. Another vintage playing card. This is actually a trading card. Those are fun. And then I think this was the envelope I did on camera. So I showed you how I attached the, um, the pressed flowers <laughs> that I had made before. And then um, it has, you know, a journaling card inside there. Really pretty. So if you're interested in, um, in those videos, I will uh, link those um, at the end of this video. Sorry, I have a cat coughing in the background. That's pleasant. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is one of the pieces that comes in the kit and it just, it lent itself to just be fold, folded in half. So I just did that and it's just some extra journaling space and then I just attached it with um, a curly Q paper clip. Dee Dee, I hope you like this. I really do. I, oh, I loved making it for you. Um, and I do, I love, I love these kits. It's just something different I hadn't done before. You know, this kind of medieval theme. Um, and I just thought it would be fun and I thought you would enjoy it as well. I hope, I hope I'm right. <laughs> I love the, the upper corner tucks. Another paper clip. And then this is the fourth signature, so we're almost done, guys. <laughs> this one actually has, um, has some tape on it that has turned that lovely color. I love this card. It has a little deer on it. <laughs> and it's also, it's plain on the back. Not really, you can't really write on it, but it's just fun. I just added some of the words here onto those um, little images of notebook pages. Another sealed envelope. Lots of space for writing. I just hope that it's, um, you know, easy for you to write in the DD. <laughs> you know, I can't stop. Um, my husband was like, did you get a little carried away? And I was like, have you met me? Um, I'm not even shocked anymore because, and this is kind of a, um, kind of a ghost pocket in a way. It's not entirely, but the image underneath was very similar. You can see it didn't line up perfectly, but I like that. Yeah, I was like, really? You have to ask that question? Come on. <laughs> when do I not get carried away ever? I get carried away with everything. <laughs> I love these. Um, I use some of the gold on there too, so it's got, yeah, I, I love how those turned out. And then what's, what's lovely is um, Jarf put some of her own um, poetry and quotes in her kits, and I love that. All right, this is the last signature. And 
the last little um, envelope that I did with the pressed flowers. I like how you can see the journaling card through there. pretty. I love the feel of this linen paper. I got it I think I got it at a thrift store, actually, a whole package of it a long time ago. And I actually used um, some pages from the kit, background pages or collage pages, um, to make one of the layers of the flowers. And that's it guys, love that. I am so happy with how this turned out and I love um, I love the effect of the doily just, you know, kind of hanging over the edges. So Dee Dee, I hope you love it as much as I do. I hope you enjoy using it. And uh, yeah, I'll be back soon guys. Um, when you're watching this, I think we will be almost back from vacation. And uh, um, yeah, we'll be back to business as usual. And I hope you have a fabulous day. And if you liked this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love if you would uh, subscribe and hang around for future videos. And like I said, I will link to um, the process videos I did for this journal, which was the cover and those pressed flower envelopes. And I will also um, link in the description box to the Medieval Mirage kits that I used. Um, and... Yeah, I think. Oh, and I'll, I'll link to all of Dee Dee's um, information as well. All right, guys, have a fabulous day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.